Hello everyone, so welcome back to the second video of the Bluehost tutorial series. In the first video, I have shown you how to create an account with Bluehost and install WordPress for your website. In the second video, I am going to give you an overview of the Bluehost dashboard. And surprisingly, Bluehost has created an amazing dashboard. It is perfect for both for beginners and advanced users. Both type of users will find this dashboard useful. So let's start. To access this dashboard, you will have to log into my.bluehost.com using the same username, password or email address and password you used while creating your Bluehost account as I showed you in the first video. After logging into your Bluehost dashboard area, you will see this home page. From here, you can select the website you want to edit. So if you have multiple website, um, you can select it from this drop down menu here. And then you can directly log into the WordPress admin area by clicking on this button. Just clicking on that button will log you into the WordPress admin area and you do not have to enter your username and password. So this really makes it easy to access the WordPress admin area in case you forget your password. So you can directly log in here and reset your password. Now let's go to the my sites options. From here again you will have to select the site which you want to edit and then click on manage site here in the overview tab you will see options to manage all these things you can manage themes from here plugins from here users and you can also update all themes and plugins at once from here but i would not recommend you to manage themes and plugins from here instead i would recommend you to do it from the wordpress admin area in the marketing center tab you will see the promotion options but you do not have to manage google ads or google manage google my business settings from here in users tab you will see all the current users on your wordpress website and if you have multiple users on your website and you want to log in as some other user so what you can do is you will directly see this login option and you will click here and it will directly log you to the wordpress admin area as that user so you will not have to use the username and password for that user. So this feature can be useful if you have multiple users on your website. And if you click on this three dots, you will also see this edit profile and reset password option. But these options also take you to the WordPress admin area. Now in the backup tab, you will see only the paid backup options and we do not have to use it. Uh, you can watch my other tutorial if you want to learn how to create WordPress backups completely for free. Next in the performance tab, you can manage the caching settings and Cloudflare settings of your WordPress website. After using Bluehost hosting, I find this Cloudflare integration with the Bluehost server is the best thing and I will show you why. From here, if you want to change the caching settings, so for example, I have set it to portfolio if you have a blog you can uh, set it to blog so it will change the caching time here and if you have an e-commerce website you can see it will change to five minutes and you will see this notifications here so depending on the type of website you can change the settings from here so i will change it back to portfolio and if you want to clear cache of a specific url for example this is my website and i want to clear this page from the caching I made some changes and I want the changes to be visible immediately. So I will just copy this page URL from here and paste it and then click on clear URL. So this page will be cleared from the caching database. And the reason why I like this Cloudflare integration feature of Bluehost the best, I will show you the latency test here. So I did some testing and here you can see the server response time. So you will see that from all location of the world, the server response time is in single digits. And when we compare it with other hosting providers, for example, I created this blog review on of Namecheap shared hosting on my website. And here you can see the server response time of this hosting. And it was done from the same website. So here you will see all the server response time were in double digit or triple digit. And when you compare the results with Bluehost hosting response time, it is simply amazing and not just with Namecheap shared hosting, with most premium hosting also you will get the response time in double digit or triple digit. And the reason you see all the response time is so good here is because of the integration with Cloudflare. So if you want to see more performance test of this Bluehost hosting, I will create another video about it. And if that video is already uploaded, the link will be in the description or you can check the comment section. Now let's go back to the Bluehost portal here. The next tab is security. 
From here, you can manage the SSL certificate setting. So if you want to disable the SSL setting, you can toggle on or off here. And another feature you get here is this check core WordPress files. So in case your WordPress website get hacked or you suspect your WordPress website has been compromised, what you can do is use this option to scan core files. It will compare WordPress files on your server with the official WordPress repository. And if hackers have put some hidden backdoor or malware, you, you will be able to see which files have been compromised and edited by the hackers and then restore those files. In plugins tab, you will get an option to enable or disable and update all plugins from here. Now for normal use, I would not recommend you to enable or disable plugins from here. This feature can be very useful if you recently installed some WordPress plugin or updated some plugin and it broke your website. Your website is not working and you are not able to access the admin area of your WordPress website. What you can do is if you know which plugin is causing the issue, you can simply disable from here. And if that still do not resolve the issue, you can turn all the plugins off and then try to access the WordPress admin area. In the last settings tab, you will see an option to change your site URL and you can also enable or disable automatic updates for WordPress core, plugins and themes. Also, you can manage the content revision settings and empty trash settings here. So to understand the content revision settings, uh, I will show you my the website. And here you can see this is a post. This is the name cheap uh, review post. I create wrote on my WordPress website and you can see here there are 12 revision of this post. So whenever you are writing a post on your WordPress website and you edit and make changes, preview changes, then multiple revisions of that same post will be created when I will browse this post here. So here you can see on the left, you can see what was removed and what was ad uh, added. And similarly, I can browse through all the revisions. And if I want, I can restore it or I can see what changes I made in each revision. But the more number of revisions you have on your WordPress website, the more space it will take. So if you want to limit the number of revisions on your WordPress website, you can do that from here. And if you want to increase it, you can also increase it to 40 here, which is a very good limit. And similarly, you can manage this empty my trash settings. So if you want to automatically clear the trash, you can set the number of weeks. And if you want to enable or disable comments, you can also do that from here. And this is a good feature this coming soon page. So if you are making some changes on your WordPress website and you want to enable maintenance mode, so you can simply turn on this coming soon page. And after you are done making changes on your website, you can disable this coming soon. You also get this delete site option in case you want to delete your WordPress website. In advanced settings here, you will get SSH access. If you want, you can also access the data, MySQL database from this PHP MyAdmin here. And if you want to upload files on the server directly, you can also access the file manager. Now in the marketplace area, uh, these are all the add-ons by Bluehost. So there is not really much useful stuff here. And in the email and office settings, if you are a business and want a paid and very reliable solution, then I would recommend you to go with the Google workspace. I already have created a tutorial about it. So you do not have to manage everything from the Bluehost here. You can directly do it from the Google Workspace website. So I will put that video tutorial link in the description. So if you want a free solution for custom domain email address, I will create a video on that topic too. So if it is already uploaded, check the description. It should be there. And if you cannot find its link, just post in the comments and I will update you. Now, if you want to manage your domain settings, you can do that from here. So if you want to manage redirects, subdomains, you can do all that thing from here. So if you want to change the name servers, you can do that from here. And if you are an advanced user, you want to change the DNS manager settings, add custom records and stuff like that. You can also do that from here. I really like this thing about Bluehost interface is that all the options you need, even for advanced users are available in this interface. And the marketing tools area, again, it is not very useful. If you want to access the cPanel, you can do so by clicking on this advanced option here and then you will have access to the cPanel and you can do whatever you want with a normal cPanel. So overall, I really found this Bluehost portal very useful. And to be honest, I do not use to recommend Bluehost hosting, but after doing the performance test, I am really surprised. And I think this is a very good hosting for beginners. But after doing the performance test, I'm really surprised. 
and I will post that performance test video next. And if you want to learn how to create a WordPress website with Bluehost, you can watch my first video. So that's it guys for this video. I will see you in the next video.